cancer, the phenomenon of cancers within bodies, it's a three-dimensional disease. It's a three-dimensional structure. And we've been trying to look at it through these flat mediums. The technologies and the techniques that we've been using to look at these tumors haven't really changed that much in the last hundred years. We can think about ways to, you know, to, to look at our data, to, you know, to, to think about you know, what conclusions we can draw from it. Um, but it's often not very intuitive. The VR, we can put somebody inside the headset who's never used VR before. And in a very short period of time, they can run some quite powerful analyses on very complex data sets. In 2017, we were awarded a Cancer Grand Challenges grant, which is at 20 million pounds in support um, to bring together a global team to do essentially molecular cartography of tumors. So mapping in space all the cells in the tumor, but also overlaying the, the spatial position um, with very detailed molecular information. We developed a suite of technologies that can measure biomolecules, but do it in a spatial context. And then we can reconstruct all those measurements uh, on a sort of ground truth 3D image of the tumor. We sort of start with this, this giant microscope. It's about the size of a Volkswagen minibus. It does something called serial two-photon tomography. And basically what that means is it takes an image of the surface of an object, in our case, a tumor. It can image down to a depth of, you know, 100 microns or so, let's say, right? Then what we can do is we can cut the top of that object off and then take another image. And by having those images be overlapping, we can then reconstruct the entire 3D picture of that tumor at subcellular resolution. The really important thing is that when that microscope does these operations, it keeps the physical material. So we keep those, these very thin sections of the tumor that we cut off between each imaging cycle. And then we can take those and make other measurements. And then we can bring it all back together um, in one 3D model that we can explore. Virtual reality is a powerful technology. It's an interesting technology. It's going to be a stepping stone towards augmented reality, which is going to be more powerful. And then eventually just having, you know, fully immersive three-dimensional displays that we can step into like a holodeck. A lot of the really, really fantastic scientific discoveries have come about because scientists have been trained in the creative or artistic processes or because they have been those kinds of collaborations. And that's been one of the things that's been so fantastic about the Cancer Grand Challenge, that it brings together different people from different backgrounds, artists, programmers, as well as even astronomers and data scientists as well. I sort of likened it at the time of an aspirational grant, saying we're going to put a man on Mars, right? And even if you don't make it to Mars, you still learn so much along the way that it's a valuable exercise. I'd argue we actually sort of made it to Mars this time, which is great. <laughs>